video I've been wanting to do for a while now. Uh, all over the place you kind of see these videos and artwork, uh, celebrity portrait art and how to do realistic portraits from photos. A lot of people really like these, in fact they're probably the most popular Instagram posts, most popular videos on YouTube. Uh, and I feel like it's funny, There's a, a lot of people don't realize there's um, some techniques you can do to do these really easily. And that's what this video is about. I'm going to show you how to use a transfer technique to um, do uh, a portrait from a photograph, like super quick and easy. So in this video I did a portrait of Justin Bieber from a photograph. I'm not a Justin Bieber fan, I don't have any problems with Justin Bieber, it's not about that. It's just, I feel like, and this is my personal opinion, that what Justin Bieber is to the music industry, celebrity portrait art is to the art community, if that makes any sense. And again, that's just my opinion, and I have lots of thoughts and ideas on this, and I'll explain those throughout the video and after the video too, so. Um, anyway, uh, let's get started, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. So I learned this first technique my first year in, in college uh, and it was an illustration course and this was one of the first projects we had. Well basically you take a photograph, you print it out at the size you want it and you take either charcoal or any soft material um, and you cover the back of it. You tape the picture down to the drawing surface that you want to do the final work on and then you just take a, piece, a pencil or whatever you want and outline uh, the image, all the eyes, the mouth, the nose, everything like that, you just outline it all. And this will transfer that charcoal, or whatever you're using, down onto your drawing paper. Uh, now this can get really elaborate. If I were to spend more time on this drawing, you could outline all the shadows so that you know where every shadow is and how to, like, everything, all the details. Um, and so then you just take an eraser and you erase the heavy lines. And as you can see, you can barely see it. I could have done it even more to where you can't even, like if you blow out the image, you cannot see the underdrawing at all. So, and then you just, you know where everything is because you can see it and you just start rendering it. Um, and this is basic, you're looking at the picture now, you're drawing where the shadows are and you're just checking out values and stuff like that. I'm going pretty quick here. Like I said, this drawing only took me 30 minutes. If I wanted to spend five hours on a celebrity portrait, um, I could make it pretty dang, realistic and I'd probably use uh, colored pencil just because um, doing something like that if you want to make it as photorealistic as possible there's better choices as far as uh, medium as far as like right now I'm using pencil pencil's not the greatest charcoal would be really good or like I said colored pencil would be really good um, but th so this part of the video I'm just rendering so this is one technique we, le we learned, and this is a transfer technique. You can also use a projector to project uh, the picture onto the drawing surface, and then you have, you're basically looking at the image and you're just filling it in, uh, kind of like a, um, what do you, color by numbers type thing. So that's another way. Uh, a more reasonable way to do this is you can use grids uh, to map out where everything is. So you have a grid on your, uh, on your drawing surface, and you'd have a grid on the photograph. Um, and you can scale up the grid on your drawing surface. For me, if I want to do something like this where I'm just going exactly for an accurate portrayal of the person I'm trying to draw, the transfer technique makes most sense. You can pretty much print out any size you want. So another reason for me to show you guys this technique, like I said in the beginning, is so that you understand that you're not as bad an artist as you think. There's a lot of gimmicks and techniques to make something look very realistic. Um, and hopefully now that you've seen this, you can look at artists, they're really easy to spot who use this because they won't be able to draw from their head at all. They're, if you look at their other drawings and they're not from photographs and their proportions are way off, but then they have these very realistic portraits, that's probably because this is exactly how they're doing the portraits. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about my philosophy towards drawing and art. For me, art and drawing isn't necessarily about putting marks on a piece of paper. Um, I don't, it's not the act of, uh, you know, making lines and things like that that I enjoy. It's pulling ideas from my head, coming up with concepts, coming up with things that didn't exist before, or just 
exploring uh, the what's in my mind. So that's why when people ask me, oh, draw this or oh, draw that, um, I don't really get enjoyment out of that. I don't enjoy drawing things that aren't my original concepts. It's I don't mind doing stuff like that for people because I know they enjoy it. But for me, art is more about the thought process and the creativity behind it. Well, I want to be make sure I'm really clear on the fact that I'm not telling you guys what to appreciate, what to like about art or anything like that. The last thing I'd ever want to do is do that because one of the most annoying and irritating things and hindrances to me developing as an artist growing up was having people tell me what to draw um, or what to like or what was good art. Uh, draw landscapes, draw animals, those are people like those. Draw, you know, draw pretty things. Why do you draw ugly things? So if you guys enjoy, you know, drawing, uh, just the act of drawing and drawing portraits of celebrities, for instance, I have no problem whatsoever. As long I feel like it's important to draw for the right reasons. To draw because you love it. And if you're drawing what you love, then by all means, who cares what the subject matter is? Do what you love. Um, but if you're drawing to impress people, I feel like that's when you're gonna, you're not gonna develop as quickly as someone who draws because they love it. I feel like those people are really easy to spot. I know for a fact times in my life where I've stopped practicing or my skills stagnated were times where I thought too much about what kind of art can I sell, what kind of images can I produce that people will like. Um, when I cared a lot about those kinds of questions, that's when I stopped drawing as much because I was so busy and forcing myself to draw things that I wasn't interested in. Um, and that really caused me to really stagnate and stop drawing completely a lot of times. When I, when I sit down and I draw something that I want to draw and that I love, it just motivates me to draw more. And that's what I want to kind of show you guys or convey to you guys is make sure you're drawing uh, the things you love to draw. So there was a lot of uh, stuff I wanted to cover in this video and I really didn't want uh, two points to overshadow everything else. I didn't want you guys to think that one, I think that celebrity portrait art is crappy or the people who do it aren't good artists. By no means I didn't want to, you know, do that. Or that Justin Bieber is some kind of horrible demon monster. Um, I don't know him. I try not to make judgments about people that I don't know. The video is educating young artists on understanding that, you know, there's processes out there and that you're not a bad artist. Uh, you just have to practice and that everything you see isn't necessarily what it's made out to be. Uh, you saw in that first process that I did, the transfer process, I mean, it's really easy to fake a good drawing. Uh, and I don't know if that's even faking. It, that's not even the point I want to make. I mean, I feel like there's uses for transfers. I mean, art should be, you should use whatever means you can to make the art you want to make. I think that's the major point here, is you understand what's available to you, don't get too critical of yourself because that you're not producing what you see uh, on Instagram or something like that. And also really think about the art that you want to create um, and the reason why you want to create it. If your primary reason to create art and to draw is so that you get likes on Instagram, I'm sorry, but you're never going to be a great artist. Uh, you have to love it. It has to be something that you really enjoy doing. So drawing and finding something you love to draw or love to paint or love to create, even if you're into collages or whatever, I don't care. Um, you have to love whatever it is you want to do uh, for the rest of your life. Um, and you know, if it's a hobby and you just want to make some cool pictures of your friends and family, hey, this transfer technique is awesome for that. Uh, I mean, most people won't know the difference. And even if they do, it's like, I mean, what really are you trying to say um, with this picture? Are you trying to make it as accurate as possible? So that's one point. So this is going to be kind of critical of drawing from photographs. I don't feel like 
because a few posts I've done of followers on Instagram, I've done some drawing stuff and people say, oh my gosh, you really captured her, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I didn't capture anybody. You don't capture somebody with a photograph. All I'm doing is copying a photograph that's on there. I'm not trying, if I wanted to make it look for it, like them, I'd just do a transfer. I mean, I just did it because it's nice, I knew people would enjoy it, and that's totally fine, but the only way you can really capture somebody, really capture their personality, that a photographer already didn't do, or did do, um, is to sit there with them sitting in front of you and draw them from life. That's the only way, in my opinion, that you can capture the essence of someone. You look at their mannerisms, uh, you talk with them, you see how they are. You have to get to know the person as an artist to, to some degree, to capture them, I feel like. Um, so when people say, oh, you've captured this person, blah, 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 if you're working from a photograph, you didn't capture anything. You made it look like them, but you didn't capture them. So that's my only real harsh opinion on this whole subject matter. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you guys have questions and everything, I feel like this video is probably going to have a lot of people with comments and questions and stuff like that. And if, you know, if your opinion is completely contradictory to mine, then that's totally your business. Uh, it's, you know, that's what the comment section is for. Um, and anyway, I hope you guys really liked this video. I mean, I feel like this was a video I felt strongly about and I really wanted to make. So, um, this little conclusion here is really long-winded and I'm sorry for that, but I, I feel like there's so much more I could talk about on this subject. Um, so maybe a live chat someday, I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. This is the final drawing I did of Justin Bieber as some kind of demon man with a face growing off of him. So, Hope you guys like it, and yeah, anyway, like I said, comment below. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe, um, and thanks for watching.